Yeah, I have. Okay, okay. <clears throat> hello, and hello, everyone, and welcome back to Brink of Speed and Octane Hour. Hey, everybody. Have hey, we been on we long? We're back. Did we just get on? We right, just I'm got just, on. Just sitting down. <laughs> so. Yep. All right. Rory, so, did you cramp hey, up over there? Are you going to food digest? Uh, food to digest. <clears throat> I can drink my water. Okay, good. And I'm wearing my new favorite shirt. Look at this shirt. Darren got this for me last week. This is my and I have my favorite hat. I didn't wear it today. The Z O is a Z O Zero one. Z O one hat. So, yeah. but look at this racing shirt. So we can maybe touch on Corvette racing this week. We forgot last week after the big first WEC race. We'll get everyone up to speed later. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get later. everybody yeah. up to speed. We have time. So tonight we're going to talk about <clears throat> a pretty major issue: GM denying a Z O six owner their warranty we've talked about this in the past whether it would happen or not well it's happened so we'll be discussing that and that came to us from clarence of sea owner speed 252 clarence, really he yeah he actually that. ran into it at his local dealership and he's already put a video out about it and so we said hey we'll talk about it as well and get everybody to go over and watch his video so that way you guys can see his take on the thing. And he, he was there in person with the Z06. So, anyway, let's say hello to everybody. Looks like we have the normal crew on. Randall Swanson. This guy's new, though. Um, Tom DeVoisin. Davy Jones. Davy, um, What's going on? Michael McCurry, Daryl D. Never Jeff, everybody. Yeah, Michael Mc... Uh, Scott, that, Scott Grindle. Summer Scott, you'll have to tell us if you've done anything more oh, to your yeah. car. I mean... And have you bought any more underdog products? I don't think he needs to. He had a whole... He, he had a whole, whole locker full. Locker full of them. <laughs> Ever Jeff's on, Track Speed's <clears throat> on, Caleb, Joey B. Everybody's on. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. Um... As you know, this show is now brought to you by the NCM Insurance, which is the best insurance that you can put on your collector vehicle. Not just Corvette. Yeah, not just Corvette. Not just Corvette. So, as I always say, the, the couple of things that you need to qualify is you need a daily driver beside your collector car, and you need a garage to put that collector car in you need the mic closer to yourself I, I, closer you know, to you darren's like saying get that mark but mark's got a very loud voice in fact people were complaining that i should have had decaf last week <laughs> i have a loud voice too but for some reason i can't hear myself as good unless i kind okay of right up to it okay yeah. all right maybe he has me turned down over there yeah because of my loud voice i'm here You're all fine. right anyway go on their website that you're seeing in front of you right now get a quote um, sometimes I was going to let you know, General Lee told me this week that he had put in for a quote, but he hadn't heard back. And I think what happened is their response to him went to his trash. Oh yeah. Yeah. That happened to me actually. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to check your junk folder because yeah. sometimes that'll happen. Um, but they're definitely going to respond back to you very quickly, ask you a few questions. Yeah. And then they're going to call you, and you'll get to actually talk. To and the you person. can call them too. Within, like, if you don't see something, you're not finding the email back. Just call them because yeah. that's, that's exactly what I did. It's funny you say that because it was in my spam folder, and the, but the guy found all my information like that. And oh, here it is. Yeah. He goes check your spam, and sure enough, there it was. And yeah, yeah. So yeah, check them out. Um, you'll probably save hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, per year on that collector car. All right. Um. We're going to talk about quite a few things today, and my last two videos, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on them because we actually are going to talk about both of those good videos, uh, good items. Videos. But uh, the E-Ray Dino numbers came out from Paragon. Uh, Steve, we were talking to Stephen on the live last week. He uh, did a baseline run at Paragon Performance. And got amazing numbers on the dyno. And then um, I just put out a video this morning about GM adding this disastrous feature to the ZR1. And mm -hmm. it's not 100% for sure, but it's it's looking more likely that it's going to happen. God. So we'll talk about that yep. as yep. well. Yep. But the uh, check out both of those videos. 
they will be uh, linked in the description. Yep. Hey, Trevor's on. Nice. Brian Mann's on. Hey, Clarence is on. Yep. Hey, Clarence, how's it going? Say uh, thank you to Clarence for tonight's topic. Like I said, he... He did some investigative reporting. That's right. Yes. Did you, Clarence, did you do that as yourself, or were you playing a different role? Like, were you... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he could have been playing a different role. He had his mustache on. He's been he a detective in... Right. Uh, That's right. That's what he should have done. some of those movies, shows he's been on. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so before we get into the main subject, let's talk about something that's sitting right over mm. there. Guys, you've seen the new shirt that we came out with, and we've decided to do a little bit of a giveaway. It's not a huge item, but this is the new BOS shirt. You'll see it on the website. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. But for those of you who own uh, C8 Stingrays, let me get to what we're giving away. How, how many of you like the C8 Stingray Z06 canards? Let me see that. Oh, there it is right there. These things right here. Is that also called the dive planes? Yeah, yeah. dive planes. Wow. <laughs> let me see. Let me see that. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Let me show the. What it, this is what it looks like. This is a Z06. Yep. Uh, Z06 style. Yeah, Z06, Z06 style. style. Look at yeah. that. So you should be seeing it on your screen now, what it looks like on the car. It's a good-looking dive plane. Um, but we're going to be giving those away. Wow. And what we're going to do is we're going to do shirts. Actually, anything you buy on the website will go towards it, but it's just dollar for dollar. So $30 shirts will give you 30 entries. $10 posters give you 10 entries. I stick this on my, my Stingray. And uh, no, it yeah. might be too much downforce for you. <laughs> <laughs> too much, too much downforce is too much. Yeah, too much. Yep. You got to drive the car to. But this, to have be quiet, be quiet. You, this no, you are driving. I hey, you drove tonight again. Let's just show everybody the keys to the yeah. car. Yeah, yeah, I drove it. Sure enough, Mike did. and I were silently laughing when we went over the little construction area. Did, yeah. you, did oh, you freak out? Did you freak out? Don't even start. <laughs> we we, I thought, knew we it. thought you were going to turn around and go home. Um, just to get into Darren's neighborhood, they had the whole road closed up. They had one of those big steel plates that they lowered on top of the gully that they were digging underneath. They had the guy with the slow and the stop sign. I'm like, I'm going. This is it. This is what happens. It's following me. It's like a joke. It's yeah. um, try And then, of course, I drive over and I do my lift. I push the lift button. I don't think, course, I don't yeah. know if I needed to or not. Yeah, not but I use the lift button, get over that, and all the guys with the hard hats are looking at me going, yep, <laughs> going like this. Yep. So. so real quick, look on the screen. It's thebrinkofspeed.com. There's the shirt for sale. And then, of course, if you go back, um, you will see the... Uh, yeah, and anyone that bought a shirt in the last couple of weeks, you're entered in as well. Yeah, 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 exactly. <coughs> but this You're not going to be excluded just because you didn't buy it uh, with the giveaway. Very, we'll very be. easy install as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not hard. And this is for... The front. The Actually, front. you know I mean, what? A, a Z or for a Stingray? I mean, no, just Stingray. Stingrays. Just Stingray. Yeah. Oh. If, you, if you live in DFW and you win, you come over to my house. We'll put them on for you and film it. Yeah. Yeah. That would be cool. You can't beat that offer. Yeah. And this. Free install. Yeah. And you got. This we'll is. We'll do a video. This is from. ACS. 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 Yeah. It's Very carbon good. flash. Carbon flash metallic. So it'll match all your OEM carbon flash. Of course. And they gave this to us for. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Yep. Thank you, okay. sir. Okay. Joseph you guys have ACS. anything you want to talk about before we get into the before the the actual real subject? Thank you, Clarence. Clarence sent me an encouraging message this week. Oh, we nice. missed you. At, what did uh, he say? He said, "Mark, I want you to really consider driving your car more because it's very important that you drive your car and put the mileage on it. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to put the mileage on it later." So. Did he say anything about you dying? Yeah, he did. <laughs> I don't know why he's saying to die like somebody's planning on killing me or something, but he said, if if you die, your wife's just going to sell it, and some other guy is going to be driving that car around and putting lots of mileage on it. So. And she'll and maybe, probably sell it for a lot less than you paid for it. That and probably what it's worth. And not what it's worth, and then she might start dating the guy, too. So I don't know what Clarence was Conveniently, saying. he'll wear the same size shirt that you wear, too. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. So, so thank you, Clarence, for we, that. Uh, we and, missed you at Corvette World. You weren't there. I was yeah. in Fredericksburg, Texas. And anybody knows what that is? That's the wine. That's like Sonoma, 
Napa Valley of Texas, right? They it's have a north, whole wine. Was it north of Austin, technically? Northwest? It's north of San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio. San Antonio, Texas is north of San Antonio. It's a very nice wine area that you drive through and you take a trolley and you're not trolley, but a, a, a bus and you can go to all the different wineries and sample the wine and uh, not have to worry about driving. So we did that and that was fun. That was over the weekend. So I did miss you guys. Yeah, Corvette a lot of people World. were there. I had the old 93 there, got it running. Yeah, very good. New alternators on there. Hi, Joel. My alternate. brother is on. He's actually in town visiting, so he's yeah, sitting so there Joel. watching the, the live with uh, Charlie and Amber and his daughter. Hey, Amber. Nice. Hey, hello. Yeah, yep. yeah I could have used your help putting the new alternator on on Friday night. Yeah, so, so when you yeah. first got this Great. car, it was kind of like Rob. Broke, broke down. Well, kind of, right? luckily, no, no, no. It was it was running fine. I mean, it, it's, I have literally a stack of documentation this thick. Every single oil change going back to yeah. the day. No, it's. Tire changes, right. everything. Yeah. So I reversed the math. Um, he had only put 280 miles on it last four years. Wow. So, yeah, it's been sitting a little bit. And come to find out, the alternator had some issues. So. So easy fix. So easy fix. So you had the alternator, like my pace car, I alternator rebuilt. I took it off. I had it rebuilt and put it back on the car. How did you, what did you do? No, I just got AutoZone, AC Delco, Gold Series. Why? Excuse me? Do you have something you need to say there, Mark? Or You went to AutoZone? Well, they had it available, and I wanted to drive my car on Saturday. You were so, just yeah. telling me you have this book of all this original do. documentation. I've got the jacket, too. Yes, you got the jacket. So you oh, went to... Oh, Emma, did you see my floor mats? Yeah, I got, got brand new floor mats, Help too. me. I'm, I, need ca I need decaf. Who said I need a decaf? What's your problem? <laughs> you just got an AutoZone alternator and threw that thing on the car. Yeah, that's so what normal you can people keep, do, right? You, so you can keep the old, at least keep the old alternator to keep it in the, somewhere and then sell it to the, the guy that wants to buy it because that's going to show you're going to have an original alternator. Where's the alternator? <laughs> what? Where's the alternator? The trash can on you, Wednesday and it's gone? You did not. Why would I keep it? You so you got rid of the, the alternator. You just It was fried. It was fried, but it had the original date codes. Help Who me, cares? people. Help me. Help Who me, cares? somebody. Help me, guys. you got to help. You got rid of the original alternator. No, is it is it still in your trash? Can we go look? Is there anybody on here that agrees with Mark? You keep the original alternator. You give it to... It's like if it not... Wait, it's just one more thing i got to hold on to. Oh, my God. Glass City. <laughs> He's you're going you're gonna to be, like, really crying. What, what are you going to do when I, when I take all the suspension rip. off? Hey. Look at Glass City's <clears throat> comment and Supercar Ranch. Zero they better be, they, <laughs> Thank you. They, they better be has backing me up. Oh, my gosh. The original date code. See, Trevor even says, no, the original date code. See, you keep that. You keep those... It's that car is judgeable by NCRS but standards. I I'm never gonna. I don't care. I know, but the next guy might want to judge it. I won't be around for the next guy. Caleb. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> See the Lewis LG Z06. You keep oh that original. But then, oh. then, then, what do you think I'm gonna do when I take off the headers? And you're the not taking off the headers because I will throw my dead my you over my dead body. You're gonna destroy that 40th. No, I have headers and exhaust coming and Willwood brakes and coilovers. You're going to lower it? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I can't be driving around like a monster truck. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. There goes another bite the dust. Oh. Oh. I want to enjoy it. I, I want it. it the way I want it. I, I don't need care. an intervention. Yeah, he's he's going to lower the 93. Re remember, remember, these cars are not investments unless you're going to keep them for like 50 years or something and pass them down. No, well, it's it's investment for the new guy who the new guy is going to buy the car. Oh, he kept the alternator. I can rebuild this, that alternator. You are the perfect poster boy for the meme. National Corvette Museum, National Corvette <laughs> Restoration Society. Is anybody else a national? No, I'm I'm member twenty five five thirty two. Okay, that's not a fake number. That's my number. Is anybody else a member of NCRS? They judge Corvettes. This is like in nineteen seventy three when somebody would throw away the alternator from a big block sixty nine. That back in seventy three, it wasn't worth a lot of money, but it's worth a gazillion dollars now. I don't, I don't do anything. I'm to gonna save dumpster it for the dive. Next guy. Is it you put it in? Okay, the like, you, pu you put it in the recycling. I'm not worried about the next guy. You put it in the recycling bin, didn't you? I'm gonna go through your recycling bin and I'm gonna <laughs> find that alternator and I'm gonna meet you and I'm going to sell it at Carlisle for like four hundred bucks and you're gonna be crying a river, buddy. All right. I'm gonna we'll sell. See, I guess. I guess. We'll see. Maybe that would be a fun bet. See how much you can get for it. Over I under. will. I, don't, I think, honestly, it's gone. But if you want to go through my garbage, <sighs> I'll get you some gloves and go for it. All right. Well. <sighs> but let's get back on track. Yeah, let's get back Sorry, on track. Sorry, everyone. 
<laughs> he threw the alternator away. It's uh, it's an NCRS judge thing. I guess. Yes. Uh, so before we get into the main subject, let's go ahead and get back to the dyno results because those were awesome. And it's both on CorvetteBlogger.com and the Midigen Corvette Forum. So check out this article. Michael, I drove mine. So take the comment back. Drove mine. I'm here with it. So there you go. And then eight whole miles. <laughs> check out the Mid Engine Corvette Forum because this actually has a better breakdown. This is what's so impressive. So the Stingray came in at 437 horsepower, which is exactly, I think, what mine came in at. I think it was maybe 440. So right around the same. 419 foot pounds of torque, Z06, 610 horsepower. 424 foot-pounds of torque. I'm not going to be able to look concentrate the for the rest of the show. I just hey, can't concentrate. Look at this. <laughs> 573 horsepower, 630 foot-pounds of torque on that new E-Ray. And look at how low that torque curve is. 3,900 RPM. 3,900 RPM. <laughs> and this is what's really impressive. So There's more torque in the LT2 than in the, uh, than in the Z06, right? Oh, way more. It's yeah, just yeah. in the base engine. The base engine has more torque than the Z06, but now with the electric wheels, it's even adding to it, right? Yeah, so check this out, though. Max wheel <coughs> torque, 630. Damn. When you when you look at their dyno chart, and it's on my video, it's on their video. When you look at their dyno chart, you will see that at peak RPM, 6,200 RPM, mm -hmm. the Stingray has 430 horsepower. Wheel. So you would wheel. think... Wheel. Yes. Yeah. You would think that the E-Ray would be somewhere close to that because at that 6,200 RPM, the battery and the electric motor falls off enormously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It still has 530 horsepower wow. at 6,200 RPM. At, at 62. Yeah. And how long does that go for? How long will the battery sustain that? I mean... I mean, <sighs> if you're on it doing uh, 1,000 donuts, you'll probably run it out. So, yeah. But, and if you do long, long laps on a track. Mm -hmm. But it's um, not a track car. The Z06 not, is the track yeah, car. Yeah, it's really a straight line, and it's really made to. I, I can't wait for you to get yours, because I really want to see the difference between the Stingray and, and yeah. what that E-Ray is going to be. So yeah, soon, be awesome. soon, you know, you're going to be a perfect candidate. To drive the Z06, uh -huh. your car. Actually, That's your right. End. Z06, Z06 E-Ray, e -ray, your car back to back. Stingray, back, back to back. Yeah, Which I, we've already kind of lined up. Some people in the DFW area, we're going to do that. Okay. And maybe even some non-Corvette people. Okay. Yeah. To really mix That'll it up. That'll be great. Yeah. I'd love to do that. <clears throat> All right. Up next. Oh, hey, Steve. Hey, Steve's on. Hello. Steve who? Protective Dad Steve, Pranks. Protective oh, Pranks, up, Steve? Vet Syndicate. How are you? We saw Steve over Welcome. the weekend. Good to see you. Yeah, man. Um, so, don't, uh, you guys might cry over this the way that <laughs> he cried over the alternator, but it's looking more and more like this is the bad. LT7 is going to have active fuel management in the ZR1. You know, ever since, I know you had, you know, you reminded us the story of how your Z06 had that issue and how the dealership said that it it caused that this oh, yeah. specifically caused your yeah, problem having yeah. to have a whole new motor put in yeah. um every time i see that v4 come up on my dash i'm it's just annoying it's, just it's so annoying mode. i know but i forget to shift but if they're doing if they really if, <laughs> if, i'm like if, just if they, driving you know if they I, really are doing this in the zero one that means like probably the 25 or the 26 zero six they're gonna do the same thing there's no doubt why wouldn't they <sighs> i mean why i mean they will it's crazy is it because of the, well, guys already, read the article that i I uh, just showed you on CorvetteBlogger.com. I love it. He unleashes. He doesn't hold back anything. Um, and I agree with 100% of his statements. It is What's nonsense. Yeah. Just, you have to read There's it. Gotta it's be just, some it's a great article. article. Right? It's for the few, so that it's you don't get be. hit with the gas it's, guzzler. It's got one. Well, well, you still do. You get, hit, you get hit with the gas guzzler with Z06, right? I mean, it's going to have so 850 what? horsepower. Um, so it's, it's still going to guzzle gas. gas. Yeah. Yep. There's obviously uh, a reason they're doing it. There's and it's got to be a financial reason, right? It's yeah. not just because they think they want to. Yeah. But, yeah. And you yeah. won't be able to turn it off, I'm guessing. I mean, I, mean, I you can't you, turn it's, it off it's now. A, it's a, it's a, only way I wish I could turn that off is there some, anybody out there, is any way, anybody's programming it so that you can turn that thing off. Not yet. There's so, got to be a way. So on the I C7, that there is. On the C7. Oh, you had that. Didn't you have that? The little, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the OBD port. 
And it shuts off the... It shuts off AFM. But they haven't come out with one, as far as I know, for the C8 because of how difficult it was to hack into the computer. Now that HP Tuners has made that possible, maybe they will be coming out with something soon. But... Still, now they're going to have to come out with something for the LT7 because that's going to have a totally different system just like the E-Ray has a totally different system and the Z06 has a totally different system. Caleb said next will be the auto stop-start. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so annoying. Well, I used to hate it in my well, Stingray have, because when it kicks on... The auto stop is already in the, the E-Ray. In the new one, yeah. No, it's in the E-Ray. Right. Oh, yeah. it, it's in the E-Ray. It's oh, in the E-Ray. So, yeah. Caleb, right. there you go. You, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the auto stop, there. that's another annoyance. Now, you can turn that off. You can? I believe. Like on my truck, I have it, and it's a, it's a 2023. You have to manually push it every time. So literally, the first thing I do when I get the truck, right. I start it, I hit, I push it. Yeah. Like, There's a button? Yeah. I'm going to have like a piece of tape on mine, just push <laughs> Just holding it in. Yeah, it's so annoying. I mean, that's not going to help, but. It's definitely annoying. It's it's just insane. Um, if you watch my video, you'll see uh, it just doesn't make any sense at all, especially when you have mechanics saying, by the way, it's not just Z06s and Stingrays having this problem. There's tons of trucks with that and same motor in it. Anybody in oh. the DFW that knows, I think I'm saying this right. Um, I think it's Ricky. Ricky with the cacti, uh, cacti green yeah. Z06. Yeah. I'm 99% positive that when he had his Laguna Blue C7 Stingray, mm -hmm. he had torque tube issues from AFM. It, was, it doesn't just cause lifter issues. It also caused transmission issues with automatics because of the way it's shifting. You just shifting hear from it first. clunk. Oh, it's awful. I hate it. Well, I mean, when you're behind, I'm not going to name whose car this is, but when you're behind was it rhyme a with? C7. <laughs> Who's he rhyme with? <laughs> when, uh, Todd, no. <laughs> when you're behind a C7, I haven't heard it from a C8 as much as I've heard it from a C7. Do and it goes hear from it four to of the car? eight. You oh, it sounds yeah, you hear that awful. Well, you hear it inside the car, it drives you nuts. Yeah, yeah it it's sounds clunk. awful. Like, yeah. when it has that, that drone clunk? low, yeah. just... Oh, there's my lifter clunking. That's why I need my hydraulic lifter to clunk. Yeah, not good. So anyway, it sucks. It really sucks. Uh, but I wanted to just, you know, bring that to your guys' attention. Do you remember when GM brought out the mechanical version in the early 80s? It was called mechanical the mechanical version. Yeah, mechanical it version. It was in a Cadillac. It was right? a Cadillac. It was yeah. called the V eight six four, and it had a V eight in the middle and six and four, yeah. and like in ten thousand miles, it was just bumming toast. Out. Toast. Yeah. Well, there was a period of time where a lot of automakers were doing that, right? And they were selling it as you get better fuel economy. Yeah, right. right. You, well, you could turn down to three cylinders it, or four. It's brilliant, actually. I mean, to, 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 if you if really you're just got cruising, better, if yeah. you're just cruising. But the thing, I'm just taking off from my driveway, and it's going to, it clunks into V4. Yeah, I know. Give me a sec. Give me a, a, a button to push. Because you feel like when you're getting on the car. There is a button to push. It's called manual mode. I know. But <laughs> do you ever drive yours in manual, by the way? I tried it on the way here. For the first time? You make it sound like No, hey, not me, for the first time. Hey, look, but the, I'm next, the next guy that has your car no, is going to be all manual. Let me tell you something. This will this will help you. What? So <laughs> Clarence was just like you. Uh -huh. Look at the comments. He's going to yeah. say the same thing. Uh, Clarence. He was just like you. He never wanted to use manual mode. Yeah. I showed him manual <laughs> mode yeah. in California when yeah. we were there for the, yeah. zero, uh, for the uh, C8 reveal. Yeah. He loves it now. Yeah. He drives all his cars in manual mode. He, he loves shifting. It is nice that when you're driving manual mode, it, it will automatically downshift for you. You don't have to worry about it downshifting. Yeah. It'll automatically exactly. downshift. But, you know, I'm just driving. I'm just do-do-do-do-do-do. I'm like, why am I at 5,000? Oh, you know, boom, I got to I was, I was I probably 50-50 in my Stingray of manual. And yeah. then one guy smoked me once because I was in manual, and I didn't realize it. And he took <laughs> off, and I yeah. took off, and I'm like, Yes, like, yes. <laughs> At the Corvette. And I think uh, he was in like a, a crappy little Civic or something too. He smoked me. I'm like, damn it. Well, you know, I did that on the first low speed, um, the low speed uh, run that I oh, beat yeah, you yeah. guys both that I beat them both on that little one. At in in no, in no, California, no. Um, I left it in the first in I think I left it in first gear. That was probably smart though. And I didn't get it to no. I was he even no, he radioed to exactly. me. He goes, oh, Mark, you, you got to get it on in that the straight away. Yeah, the on first that straight yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is at the. Uh, 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 Ron, uh, Spring Mountain, right? Yeah. Ron Fellow School. I left it in first. I forgot to shift out of. But yeah, uh, Supercar yeah. Ranch saying the same thing. I'll be the same thing when I get my Z06 because I want to get those revs up and just hear the exactly. exhaust singing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So 
But I did get on it. I got it up All to right. about 5,000 RPM. I felt like my Are you always 100% of the time in tour mode? Do you ever get into sport? Oh, no. I'm always in my own my mode. Which is, yeah, which is do you have the exhaust open? The exhaust always open. Okay. I got the transmission shifting. It's just everything but the track suspension. Okay. Yeah, and I like that. Because I like the feel of a downshifting when you're coming to a red oh, light. Yeah. I like that. Because I like driving manuals. I miss a manual car. I miss driving a manual. So Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, I hit 5,000 RPM, and it was... Any, oh, I just felt like I was destroying the car. You're not. I just, oh, I just felt horrible. You, it just you made didn't this even sound. Hit the rev limiter. I know the rev was sixty two. Yeah, it'll never see that. But I was at five, <laughs> and I'm just like, mm. just all right. So again. from bad news, yeah, to actually good news. So we've been talking lately about C eight values, Z06 values, Stingray values. Yeah, and they have been going down. They have been. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. They stopped making However, so many Stingrays and more Z06s at the darn plant. Can you stop cranking those out? Have you seen this article? I have not. That's it's why I came impressive. to the show tonight. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. So check out this article on CorvetteBlogger.com where it talks about KBV's yeah. 2024 best resale I did value. glance at that one, yes. If you see. look, it's pretty impressive that the... Normal average vehicle is at 42.4% when you drive it off the lot, basically. Mm -hmm. Or, I'm sorry. Not but after a certain period of time, like I a three-year period or something? After 60 months. It's, oh, five years, okay. Yeah, it's down to 42.4%. Mm -hmm. The Stingray is 59%. 59.9%. .9%. Yeah, but that's not... I'm not surprised because it was so skewed the last couple of years with the high It was like 110%. Literally, it was because more you Corvette, turn Corvette, a car was, the, Corvette was one of the top five over sticker cars. For look, at yeah. the, look at the top ten on here; it is pretty impressive. Uh, what are they? I don't the even first know. is the Ford Bronco. So good work, Trevor. Uh, number two is a Toyota Tacoma. Yep, that's the best resale value. Yeah, yeah. Mercedes Benz G Class is number yeah. three. Toyota Tundra is number four. Yeah. Stingrays five. Toyota GR Supra is number six. Toyota they, what, Prius. They made, they made three of those work. last year. Clarence. They made three of those last year. Is number Supras, seven. Listen Supras. to all these Toyotas. I'm listening. Yeah. No, Toyotas number are always eight, good. Don't Toyota get me mad. Don't get me mad. Dang. Number nine, Porsche 718 Cayman. And mm. number 10, this one makes me want to throw up. Don't get me mad. Ford Maverick. <laughs> That's the little El Camino yeah, 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 truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all, is it EV, right? Or is it hybrid? No. It's no, hybrid. It's, no. It's got a three-cylinder and optional. Yeah, you can get a four-cylinder. It's cylinder. not hybrid? No. No? No. Uh -uh. Oh, I thought that was their selling point on that. It's just, so, the selling point is that it's like starts at 22000 Yeah. It's, it's like a Honda Ridgeline. That's, that's line. like a Subaru buyer type truck. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't Honda consider Ridge line, No. Because Ridgeline's that mini, it's a pickup truck made on a unibody. Yeah, but the Honda Ridgeline is like 10 times the size of a Maverick. Is it? Okay. The Maverick is like a Prius with a pickup bed. Yeah. Clayton yeah. has my bag. It yeah. is a hybrid. The Maverick's a hybrid. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. All right. I didn't know that. Yeah. I've had three cylinder, but it's got the three cylinder motor in it, right? Probably true. Uh, Forerunners are awesome. I'm sure they are, but the mm. well, the trucks, the Toyota trucks, have always been oh, awesome. Oh, absolutely, they're I've... great cars, made well. They're just not an American company. Did you? Did well, you they're see... made in San Antonio. But it doesn't matter where they're made; it's where the money goes. Money goes to Japan. So. Did you see? Uh, Whatever. I don't want to get on that. Clarence's comment. What did he say? He said manual mode all day long. Yes, he did. I know. I'll go, I'll drive it manual home tonight. Okay. I'll drive it manual home tonight. Oh, man. But not above five thousand RPM. But definitely not about f about five thousand. Yeah. I got on it last night when I went out for my ice cream run. Gavin Z06 <laughs> is on. Welcome. And Lego D17 is on. Welcome. So yeah. Um, yeah, those numbers are probably skewed. However, it is nice to know that the Stingray is still holding up pretty nicely, even though there's like 150,000 of them. Hey, we were very spoiled, right, for many years, right? You yeah. could literally buy it and turn around and sell it for more than what you bought yeah. for. So I assume that resale value is 110%. It's, right. it's more no, than more that, no, probably. Yeah, but it's, it's normal now, so yeah. it's, it's still pretty darn good. Remember when I bought my 2016 and 2018? The sticker on it was 70 eight and i bought it for 50 mm -hmm. and it had four thousand miles oh. on it well, that was like my, several my, for me uh, to choose from my yeah. c7z06 had a hundred and twelve thousand dollars sticker and i paid seventy thousand for yeah. it with four thousand miles what year 15 
No, it was 2015. Boy, you're to buy it. Um, I, I think it was 2017. 2017. It's Spring just, of 2017. Yeah. yeah. So hey. two, two, two and a half years old. Yep. Real quick, Simple Cooking Made Simple Andrew is on. He just gave us a super sticker. Nice. With some thumbs up. Thank you so much. Again, if you haven't checked out his channel, he makes delicious food on that channel. Go check it out. Give him a subscribe. And uh, so Clayton, Clayton, Clayton settled it on the Maverick. Four-cylinder turbo or four-cylinder hybrid? Yeah, so the four-cylinder turbo is the 2.0 engine. It's got 252 horsepower, and the hybrid is the four-cylinder, what is it, a Tecumseh engine or something? What's it It's called? It's. Uh, Did you learn that on the test drive? I don't know, but it looks like one? a <laughs> truck that we could pick up and just throw. Yeah, it's it's very, very light. Yeah, it's very tiny. And they can't apparently make enough of them, but Scotty Kilmer will tell you, it's made in Mexico, and it's a piece of junk. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah. Oh, man. Somebody's correct me on the motor that's on that Maverick, the hybrid version. It's a, it's a. <laughs> so it's not a Ford motor. It's they used to. It's they, not a Ford motor. It's like a Tecumseh, I believe, <laughs> and then it's got the uh, the hybrid system. Aaron on says it. he's in manual mode right now. <laughs> <laughs> Why right. are we talking about girls' trucks? That's You're true. right. Let's I get off of this. Let's talk freaking Corvettes. Let's talk go back to Corvettes my Corvette. Again. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the main subject. I'm glad Clarence is on here. Um, so. He was at his local Chevy dealership, which is Hemrick in North Carolina. And he was, I think, he told me he was getting something done to his Z06. Probably just oil change or something. Oh, he did, yeah. Here. Yeah, he said yeah, that yeah. to me, yeah. yeah. So, all of a sudden he saw a Z06 parked out in the parking lot. And uh, he's like, oh, you guys have a Z06? He's like, no, that's, that's not a Z06 for sale. That's a Z06 that's sitting there because the transmission went out. And he's like, well, okay, are you guys fixing it? Well, no, we're not fixing it yet. This is Clarence's story. No, this, yeah. He's talking to yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. the service guy. Yeah. And this is the red Z06 that's in the thumbnail. So the service guy said, yeah, the, the transmission oh, this is went out. Be good. I want to hear this. And we haven't fixed it yet. Um, the tranny. And the reason why we haven't fixed it yet is because the warranty is void. Oh. The owner... Void. The owner bought this car from someone used. It's a 1LT. It's a 1L, or 1LZ. Sorry. 1LZ. 1LZ. It's a 110 sticker, I think. Yeah, it's just a regular coupe. Nothing um, too fancy. Yeah, nothing nothing fancy at all. I think I had the black wheels, but those are 500 bucks. Um, <clears throat> and uh, he bought it, and he paid a lot over, yeah. which was, to me, the first mistake. Back in when it was really yeah. going for high. It's well, no, this, was, high. this is a 24. Oh, oh, it's a 24? This I didn't is know a that. 24. Really? Wow. Yes. This is recent. This is a 24. Well, did, did Clarence, I don't, did Clarence say in the video what he paid over for it? Like 80 grand, I think. I hope he just heard the guy wrong. Yeah, that I just think he, seems like I don't know. eight grand. It's maybe, a lot like of money over. So, either how long way, does he have this car? Either way, the guy that sold it to him did not have it for six months. Now, we've been discussing this. For the past few months, yeah. is GM really going to stick to their guns with this six-month thing? This is the first scenario where we think they are definitely sticking to their guns because the the service advisor let Clarence know that, yes, they reached out to GM and GM said, no, there's no warranty on this car. It's not six months old. It was sold as a used car to this individual. The, war the warranty is void. And Clarence reminded me, 2024s are the ones that have had the uh, transmission issues mm -hmm. in the Z06s. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. He had an early transmission issue after he bought it. And, and it happens very quick because there's a person in the quick. DFW that I've met. He bought his from a dealer in Wyoming. They got it here. They got it <clears> off the <throat> truck. Literally, it had the issue and, and you know, right out of the gates. And that's the unfortunate part of the whole situation is it's buyer beware is is you as the buyer you're thinking well i didn't know that but you as the buyer yeah, have to know this that is, you gotta I, you gotta but this is I, well, I would like to get a lot of people's opinions on this and steven, steven rap, rap is on here and he yeah. has some legal background many people i've talked to on their 24s even some 23s but i know specifically of three people on their 24s because i've asked them did not have any documentation or sign anything about really right that warranty so to be fair to the guy maybe he didn't know when he sold it either 
But then whose fault is it? Is the dealer that didn't give them the form and yeah. they go back to the dealer? I mean, I don't know, but it seems like it creates wow. some problems. Yeah, and, I think they're going to say. But the person that gets hurt is not the seller. No, it's, it's the like, guy that didn't know any better. the guy that didn't know and buys it. And you can tell when you guys watch Clarence's video, that car's been sitting there with it problems. torn apart yeah. for a while. It's dirty and it's Just out. fix it and we'll figure out who pays for it later. I mean, you've got to get it fixed. It's, if the warranty is shot... It's a sad you gotta, situation. You got to fix it if the warranty yeah. isn't. But get the thing worked on. Don't let it sit outside in the parking lot. So and Stephen Rapp said, "I think they'll have legal recourse." I I think you're probably right. I mean, we've all talked about this. That and and even someone that I think would know uh, what he's talking. Clayton about. made a good statement. That's interesting. That? that it's in the warranty clause, like in the documentation, like that they give you within the car, like the, the warranty the terms as a statement, right. but aren't you supposed to sign the document? Well, I guess not. That That's would. probably obviously GM has a whole team of legal counsel and they probably said, Nope, this works. Yeah. So yeah. 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 It'll be interesting to see what happens if he can lawyer up or if somebody else is going to have the same issue and they lawyer up because like I said, this it's good, but it's going to keep happening. Unfortunately said he doesn't see how GM can pull this off, and he's been in the industry a long time. Who said that? I'm not going to name the name. Yeah, but didn't you? All, but, I mean, didn't Ford GT? They, they had the same thing, and they sued John Cena for but that was for his selling it. Before. But that's a different situation. Yeah, that's not voiding a warranty that automatically comes with a car, though. That's yeah. That's so true. I guess that's you're what right. sucks about different. this whole situation. Yeah, but it's I feel bad weird. for the guy, especially if he bought it unknowingly. Um, and the guy that sold it to him probably sold it to him knowingly that, I mean, he, he you know what, he might've been like the people I know and just thought, well, they didn't make me sign anything. I guess it's fine. And no one's talked about this. No one's had this conversation of a big yeah. issue. So yeah, I did hear one person that yeah, supposedly but... got blacklisted. Oh, really? Yes. And this was almost, it was back in July, August. So he was. But, but with that being said, he actually had car. two of the cars that he sold early. He had the Escalade V and a Z06, both of which oh, right. have that. See, qual- Clayton made a good point. What? The Ford GT deal only affected the seller, not the buyer. Okay. And yep. that would yep. make more sense. That's why yep. when this first came out, I was like, why yep. are you going to affect the buyer? Yeah, the buyer's just screwed because he doesn't know until yeah, he brings it in for oil change that's or just something. Nuts. They go, yeah, well, you have an another, illegal car. Another buddy You've of got mine. a gray market car. <laughs> Steven said they may have a team, but ultimately public relations can win even with social media. Yeah. Yeah. Just but, but here's the thing, though. It does, I mean, that, that matters for sure. But that poor guy, his car, it's probably been sitting there for six or eight weeks, you can tell, and maybe sitting yeah, there the, another. How long before this is resolved? Yeah, I know. And we know how GM is. They're not going to be like, oh, we'll just fix it and figure it out later. No. I mean, they make you even like my stupid truck taking in. You got to bring your car, leave it there, and they got to order the parts, wait for them. Right. I mean, your car's held hostage. Remember Robert says, Corvette Rob, G is in for- GM is enforcing the no warranty thing. He, he said that. Uh, before six months, we had somebody try to sell us one recently that stated warranty, that stated block. warranty block, and it listed all the blocked there you go. parts on the warranty. There you go. Wow. So they are enforcing it. Seller should get flagged. You're right, Michael. Yeah, it's just it's crazy. But, but it but is for the E-Ray. When you get your oh, E-Ray, yeah. you're going to have yeah. to sign your... It would be interesting if they ask you to even sign the document, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Same thing for the E-Ray. Yep. And they, they put it on the Hummer, and they were putting it on the Cadillac Lyric. I think that's it. <laughs> the the thing I don't disagree with, the, there, there, needs to yeah. be, there needs to be an out for people. Because legitimately, let's say you buy a brand new E-Ray, right? You pay cash for it or whatever. You finance it, and life for circumstances reason, changes. Yes, yes. What if you're disabled right now? I can't drive a Corvette. Yeah. I got a bum leg. Yeah, it's, yeah. So now I can't sell my car for six months. Yeah. I can't trade it in. I can't do anything. Right. I'm stuck with this. Financial, you can lose your job. I mean, they should whatever. at least have it where you can turn it back in and yeah. get your money out of it. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and unfortunately, it, it, the thing I didn't tell you is this dealership is trying to offer this guy 102000 which is probably a decent deal. So the dealerships want... So go... For, I'm sorry, finish the story. Yeah, yeah so the dealership's buy, trying to buy the car from the guy for 102, but he doesn't want to sell for that because he paid way over. And I don't blame him. Oh. Which, which I guess tells you it's probably like a $10,000 fix because they know they can get it back to uh-huh. yeah. sell it. Yeah. yeah. But then, look, you got a potential problem for the third owner now because yeah. the warranty's still gone. Yeah, yeah. the warranty's still Wait, gone. Wait, what's the history of this car? Right. Did you save the alternator when you fixed this Clarence car? talks about that in the video. Like, <laughs> why would you want to buy that from the dealership after they buy it from this guy in the first place? Because they're going to have to disclose yeah. what happened. Yeah. 
I mean, it could be as simple as simple little warrant. Well, maybe not. It's a transmission. Yeah, that's. But even if it's a simple issue, look, every single American made car that I've owned the last five years, I can go think of each one. There's been some sort of warranty issue that I've had fixed in the first three years. Not necessarily huge, huge but, right, but like yeah. one of my trucks, I had the hole on the, the Ram, that big uh, U-Connect unit. That mm -hmm. whole thing was replaced. Yeah. I mean, if I had to pay for that out of pocket, what would That'd that cost? Huge. Three, four, five thousand yeah. dollars more. Yep. Plus labor. Yep. Sure enough. Yep. So, Clay Ernest, Simple Cooking, J.R. Smith. You can check by giving the VIN to any dealer. Yeah, that's correct, J.R., but you got to think to do it. You know, if somebody's just looking, sees a Z06 and buys it because they're not really educated on it, but, but might not so, even know what a VIN so is. I, I don't know. I do know someone that traded their Z06 into a Cadillac dealership for an Escalade, and it was before the six months. That car was being sold at that Cadillac dealership. And I remember looking at their ad, this was about eight months ago, pretty early on. They made no reference to the warranty. So they might have actually sold that car to someone else and not knowing either. And if you're someone that went and bought a $180,000 car from a Cadillac dealership, you would think, well, I mean, it's fine. I mean, yeah. so I don't know. This is where people are just going to start pointing the finger back to, well, who's responsible for this? Yeah. It's not so good. I, basically, just look out for yourself because it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I mean, I, I think... It's only going to affect the people out there that really don't know what they're doing. I think the savvy Corvette person is going to not do this. They might sell one, but I don't think they're going to buy one that has no warranty. It's going to be the guy that's just like, oh, i got to get that new Z06. Yeah. Somebody they know sells, yeah. nothing about this warranty issue. Yep. This is probably this guy. He probably yep. had the money, bought it. Yeah. And then he had this issue, and now he's like feeling like, "Oh my god!" But so, so, oh, so, what so Darren, Darren Harris, but yeah, that's exactly. not that's not working either, though. Yeah, because GM doesn't right. have to honor that because right. they have to have an agreement. It's like health insurance, right? You can be a doctor, you can come in, and I have uh, uh, United Healthcare. Like, you know, we don't honor that here yeah. because they're paying an ass to pay the bills, Plus, yeah. and then we're not going to deal with United Healthcare. So you can go get your warranty <clears throat> and spend oh. your three or four grand, think that you're covered, and then when you go to GM and say, "Oh, I've got this warranty," they're like. Uh, not here. You're gonna have to go down to Ed's, uh, you know, auto and repair down there. And that Ed's gonna be like, we don't know what to do with this car. We've never seen one of these. Yeah, exactly. And they don't have. I mean, it's just it's it's that's a false positive in my opinion. Of yeah, what is the impossible. Michael has a impossible. good question. He's been firing some good questions. He says, does it does it reinstate after six months? I'm like, no. It's just like permanently. That's permanently gone. Permanently gone. Yeah. Your your warranty is permanently done. Yeah. And I don't know that you can buy an extended warranty on a car. Why would you if you've already got it? You well, know you got it. Like they're, like th they're like a third party extended warranty. Yeah, but it's got a pre existing thing. Yeah, you that's true. You can't just right. can I get right, it? Right, right, right. And why would the why would yeah, why would the warranty company be like, oh sure we'll take on that liability? Yeah. It's a hundred and eighty thousand yeah. dollar car and these things we know the yeah. engine's uh, yeah. is sixty yeah. grand. Yeah, there's yeah. no way. There's no way. And it's, not many people buy an extended it's a warranty. Lose, lose situation. Yeah. It it's really, tough. really sucks. It's tough. Um, All right. Well, so what was the so Clarence, what happened to did you buy that car? What, <laughs> what did you do? Clarence, yeah, he added to his Z06 collection. He added it to his Z06 <laughs> collection. You know what? You know what? Clarence told me. Did he tell you this when he, he talked to me last night? He said when he brought it in for the service and the guys were driving around and stuff, they're like, "What is? Do you have exhaust on this thing? Your car sounds so much different." They were these these two guys that they work didn't on. Know. No, they were no because he doesn't have exhaust on it. They're like no, your I car don't. sounds so much different than these other cars that we've had come here. They're Z06s, and like the only thing he would come up with is track mode. Well, no, no, it was, oh. it was maybe because more broken in. I don't know. Huh. Really? They're like, ah, oh, your car just sounds so much more different than the other Z06. It sounds better. And he's like, I don't Clarence, know. Clarence, what did you do to that car? You know what? All engines are going to perform differently. I don't know that they'll sound much different, but they definitely are going to perform differently. I've driven probably five or six C7 Z06s, and I'm telling you, mine that I had was faster than all the ones I've driven. Um I mean, maybe that's how it's broken in originally. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and, you know, these were all stock. Mine was bone stock. So it just depends maybe on that. Yeah, breaking it in properly or maybe not breaking it in properly. Who maybe knows? it's the history, the, the way you've driven it over time, the type yeah. of gas you run through it consistently. Yeah, yeah. A lot of variables. A lot of variables. So real quick... Guys, the E-Ray that I've been talking about for a few months now is coming up to the end of its this time. E-Ray giveaway? Yeah. So if you look here, April 7th is the last day. So it's Ooh. less than a month away. Here's your chance, Mark. Get your ticket. Um, Can I make up. my own color? No. What color is it? It's is uh, it, is it the blue? Silver Flare Metallic. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you like it's a that. really good color, see? Um, they're all good and colors. And it's got the really Oh, awesome, with the blue stripes? Yeah, I have to admit, the blue stripes looks good. It's got the level two carbon fiber interior. Convertible. I got those stripes on my and 70th anniversary. You can't see them because it's a black car with black stripes. You can barely see them. I, uh. Till the end of the giveaway, you're getting 40% more for your money on these tickets, too. With the so, BOS? What do yeah, you type so in? Click on, you what don't you, have to type anything in. Click on to, that. Look at that. It already says bring 40. Oh. Fill out your okay. information here. All right. Click continue. Mm -hmm. Put your credit card information in and you are entered. Now, this is going to be linked in the description below with the code already in it and then the pin comment as well. So, uh, these things, I mean, it's going to go quick. Once uh, April 7th hit, I think it's the 13th that they're uh, going to announce it. Yeah, the drawing date's on the 13th. So basically, a month from now, mm -hmm. we will know who wins. Okay. So. I'll get out there. Yep. All right, let's go ahead and give something away. Oh, boy, that means I've got to come up with a question. You huh? have, like, a little folder of those, don't you? I did, but I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm doing... Uh, Chat GPT and what's the what's Microsoft's uh, AI now? It's called uh, uh, no partner or or sidekick or something. But partner or sidekick. You can just put it's it's in it's standard as part of Microsoft Edge now. You just copilot. There you go. You go copilot. Thing answers are it answers future questions haven't been asked. <laughs> Let's see. So go ahead. What's uh, what are you giving away? Well, we're gonna have to spin for it. Okay. So you have to ask a question, and then we'll spin. Joey B. had a good comment. If that person with the warranty issue, if he buys or replaces the transmission, then will they warranty it? Probably not. I don't know, though. I can't. Right. That's I would, a good point, though. I would think though. no, but, but I don't know. Hmm. That's a good question, yeah. Okay. By the way, if you haven't smashed the thumbs up button, please do so. Okay, ready? Yep. How many Corvettes? Well, we know Corvette production last year was second to 79. Like 50 plus thousand cars were made, right? Yep. How many went to Israel? Oh, good question. I think I know the answer. But good yeah. question. I have to thank Riconti. He put this as one of his things. Uh, earlier today or yesterday and Tech he did Tuesday. Tech Tuesday he did 23 Corvette predictions so Rick if you're watching you might, might not have time to watch us but um, I did use one of your, your your screen prints on how many cars so how many went to Israel so people are answering and yep. do you have an answer yet it's this number right there oh, uh, I, I, I didn't know that answer uh, Joey B oh, did I you see it did you see it yep 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 Joey B yep Joey B Joey B not a boy we, there, we have to limit Certain people from winning because no, Joey B hasn't won for a while. Joey yeah, B, how did you know it was know that much? Won. Joey B, tell me. I mean, tell us how you knew that that the answer to that. He looked it up. So that's but there's no, no. It's hard to look that up. Rick. He probably watched Rick. Yeah, but you don't remember that number. Yeah, that's, so yeah, if I would have heard that, I might have been like. Well, he didn't actually say it. He just listed all the countries, right? And I just picked a obscure country. You know, Israel. How many C eights went to Israel? Last so thirty four went to Israel. That's interesting. Yeah, he saw the video. He so he so let's video. do this for you Joey. Have, like. Image memory, you've got photographic memory. Joey, okay. Joey, Damn. do you want a National Corvette Museum swag pack, which is the hat, the stickers, the key tags, or do you want to spin the wheel and get a random prize? Yeah. Let's give them the option. And then the yeah. second person will do whatever you decide you don't want to do. So, Joey, tell us what you want. You want to spin the wheel for random prize, or do you want the NCM hat? Let's see what he says here. Go oh, spin. I like it. See, yeah, he's a gambling he's a man. Gambler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> spin Absolutely. it, baby. All right. Let's switch it over. <laughs> now, wait a sec. My, my thing about me driving 100 you know, miles still, isn't on there. There's still a cash prize on this wheel that no one's won yet. I know. Do you want to spin it? No, I just want to make sure. Uh, it's not there about me having to drive. Oh, oh it's there. there. It's Is it there? there? All right, here we go. Get out of the way. Damn. Ready? People aren't going to be able to. Oh, yeah, I guess they can LED see. Head, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. BOS sign. No, BOS sign. There you go. All right. So that's actually, he might already have one. Oh, he does have one. If you one. have one, we'll, we'll spin again. Yeah, he already has one. He already he got already one of those? One? Yeah, he has one. He has one? Yeah, okay. he has it. Yep. He's a BOS supporter. Let's spin again. Yep. He gets another spin. Oh, here we go. BOS 
shirt. All right. No, okay. okay. So tell us your size. We got shirts. No, yeah, I know. I'm just, I think he has one, but. No, but we have different shirts. We've got different shirts. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you just email me, Joey, and let me know. Um, he's probably double extra large. He's muscular. Yeah. He's, he's either Kind of like me. No, he's muscular. definitely double extra large. Okay. Right, Joey? You got broad shoulders. Congratulations. Oh, 3XL, really? No. He's got some. He used to be a buddy. He got big traps. Big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Get off the screen there. We got oh. three XLs. Are oh, you yeah, on? yeah. My bad. All right. So we get. We need another question. Oh, you. Oh, crap. <laughs> I have to go back to Rick and Rick's stuff again. Gosh darn it. All right. Well. Okay. Let us know what the next question is. Okay. That's a good one. Like, ask for the number or just ask who is the third or the fourth? Yeah, let, let's see if Which they know. The not, yeah, let's see just, that. Not okay. percentages. What was the yeah. third most popular color in 2023 for Corvettes? Third most. Go. Go. What color? People just can fire out anything at this oh, point. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you got that, right? It's this one. Oh, See, we I already th have, I, we I already thought, have I thought, well, because people, there's only like five choices yeah. that are. Caleb, congratulations. You're the winner. He, he got black right off the bat. Yep. Just like that. There you go. All, All right. right. Well, I'll be sending him some uh, NCM swag. Okay. Very good. Yeah. I do have a good shirt for Joey B in my garage. It's, I think it's triple XL? No, I think it's double, but it's a big double XL. Okay. Or, I think it should fit. I got triple XL in the new shirt. We've got some other choices downstairs. Okay. I got. I got. We'll look. All right. So, you guys have any uh, questions about what we talked about tonight? You have any comments that you want to say? We got a little bit of time left. Any more pending E-Ray arrivals? Yeah. Our friend Jesse Wuji told us, or he's told everyone, I think now too, that what? his. So Jesse's E-Ray has oh, been yeah. built. It's at the dealership. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. Yes way, Jesse. Unfortunately, he has to wait till April to pick it up because he's too busy. But oh, well, we can help out with that. I oh. know. Michael McCurry wants to know how you can how we can win the Canards. Okay. You purchase. We'll show them on your yeah, screen. Yeah, let me, let me pull up. One of our new shirts, the BOS shirt. How many are we giving away? One set? Yeah, one, one set. set. Yep. So just go to thebrinkaspeed.com, thebrinkaspeed.com. And it's dollar for dollar. You buy a shirt for 30 bucks, you get 30 entries. You buy a poster for 10, you get 10 entries. By the way, I sign 100% of the posters. Um, so that's how you get it. Does this go up by the uh, radiator grill up there? And it, this is what no, down? That, that screws on the inside of the, the wheel well. This does, okay. Yeah. yeah. The wheel well, and then this is on the outside. Of the and wheel, yeah. And it shoots across, yeah. And it's not like straight like this, it's very nice. Yeah, and if you guys haven't seen it, uh, I'll show you what they look like. ACS is such a good uh, finish on there. No, it's OEM quality. I mean, oh, it's yeah. exactly it's the same. Fantastic. And more and more, because now there's so many other competitors out there that are making, you know, splitters Stunts, and stuff. Yeah. But I've seen it going to, well, remember the restaurant we were walking to a week ago? The whole half was cracked off the splitter yeah i think it was trevor did you see the trevor with it no he was there but he i don't know if he walked by yeah i don't know if clarence, was. clarence was clarence yeah, yeah, yeah. was that clarence front splitter was the that worst. was not an acs splitter wow. literally so guys, really marked uh, the a breakaway splitter you know <laughs> well, how much these are how much 400 bucks for two of them mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot of work i mean yeah, there's a lot bucks. of curves in there i mean can you imagine having to make the mold for that so joseph does a great job over there make the mold for that to Curved. Yeah, they're it's very nice. You no, know, they're durable, and Mike can attest to that because he's had two run-ins. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, I had a. Uh... Did I ever tell you guys about <laughs> after I got my Captain America car back with the brand new front splitter on it that I took it to a certain place to get the inspection done, and oh, they had a young God, kid yes. <laughs> pour around the drive, and he for actually... the state inspection for the state inspection you got to get yes. the. Uh, he ran into the curb with my brand new front splitter. Yeah. Luckily, I had my. So you, before you do that, you go and say my my splitter scratched. To the manager goes, well, I, yeah, that was probably like that when you had it. Yeah. And Mike did you goes, actually see him do it? Mike has a no. video. I'm surprised no. you caught it. Or he had the video. I no, saw it I, on my car. 
But right away? Yeah, that that day I picked it up. I was like, what in the world? There's a giant scar on the... So then I went the back. The PDR footage. I had the PDR <laughs> footage, and the manager's like, there's no way he hit it. Yeah. He watched right. the footage, and he's like, he hit it. <laughs> he really hit it. And he should have said something. He's right? like, so what... Do you want me to uh, just touch this up and paint it? I uh, go, no. 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 I, I need a new front splitter. So yeah, he yeah. ordered a new front splitter. Yeah, throw Which it in the trash. One, yeah. <laughs> It's in the trash with with Darren's yeah. alternator. Yeah, so yeah, that's guys. where I'm going after this. Next week's show, we're gonna do if we don't do a short, we'll do a short because I think I know where it's at. We're just gonna show you digging through my. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna dig through, <laughs> and I'm gonna get that alternator, and I'm gonna see you all at Carlisle, and we're gonna sell this thing for big bucks. I love this. Yeah. Actually, yeah, we'll yeah. document the we'll whole document. thing. Yes. I love it. We should have done a video on you putting so the alternator on Michael that. So, Michael wants to know when the drawing is. I was thinking a couple weeks. Yeah. We're not going to make this long. It's a small giveaway. So, we'll just say the end of uh, March, beginning of April. Well, the shirts are relatively limited. So, yeah, 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 especially yeah. some of those exactly. sizes, definitely, right. you know, go get one. And they're 30 bucks. So, it's not like they're. Yeah. So, let, let me look at my calendar real quick, Michael. And so everyone knows, I don't know. This is like a, let me see it says on here. These are a good blend shirt. These are not the cheap giveaway type. You know, oh, yeah. trade show shirts. They're oh, those uh, are great. Uh, what are they? They're like that 60 40 blend. Um, but they're the um, Joe Lamb. If he's still on here, he'll, he'll tell you they're great. He's the one that made them. Yeah. No, they're super comfortable they're and they're kind of like lightweight. You yep. know, they're nice shirts. Yeah. So we'll do April 3rd. That'll be the next or the very first live in April. That's when we'll announce the winner of the giveaway. Now, if all this, the products are sold before then, and then we have a live after that, we'll just announce it. But if we still have some products left until <laughs> April 3rd, then we'll Caleb, announce it. shut up. What? He says, after you do the dumpster dive, make sure you wash your hands so you don't get anything on your, pre <laughs> your precious <laughs> steering <it>. wheel. <laughs> I love it, man. Oh, God. You're well, right, Well, don't though. worry. He'll have that little white thing on the yes. top of it anyway. Yes. So. <laughs> my, 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 is it a steering wheel condom? Could you call it that? We call it that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can I start would, that trend. So. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to say this is the end of tonight. I really appreciate each and every one of you for being on Octane Hour. We love having you guys. Um, thank you to all the new people that are on. If you have not joined... The wonderful Brink of Speed community. We do this every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's called Octane Hour. Thumbs smash, up. Yeah, smash the red subscribe button. Thumbs up. And the bell. That way you're notified when we go live or when we're about to go live. But you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. And we'll see you guys on the next Octane Hour.